in 2016, an image went viral around the world. The heartbreaking photo showed a volunteer giving food and water to a naked, emaciated child who was abandoned and believed to be a child witch. Many have already seen these pictures, which shocked the whole world. But not everyone knows what happened to this little boy seven years later. Watch the full video to find out. Now, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified as I upload a new video. Despite being a criminal offence in Aqua Ibom State, where the child was discovered, the labelling of children as witches persists in certain communities, with severe consequences. Accused children often face ostracism, abandonment, and, in some cases, they are denied basic rights, including education, as schools may refuse admission to those suspected of witchcraft. Religious leaders sometimes exploit these situations for financial gain, accusing children to extract payment for alleged exorcism services. The aid workers received a tip-off about his deteriorating state when a man from the village called the centre. Anja and her crew pretended to be missionaries, looking for dog meat to buy so that they didn't let on that they knew about the boy who was deemed as evil. I know that some of these villagers, they have been looking at him with tears in their eyes, but they have not had any chance to do anything because they have been afraid of helping a child who has been accused of being a witch, because it can affect them and even their own children, she said. Even though people they outcast the child, it does not mean they want you take it. You need to somehow get a feeling of, do they want us to take or not? And so I just started by saying, can I give him some water? And he said, yeah, yeah, please give him. He's thirsty. He's hungry. I was so surprised that he could stand up. Anja was appalled when she first saw the heartbreaking state of the young boy. He was like a skeleton, and I was even surprised that he was breathing. And I was so surprised that he could stand up, she says. I bent down and I gave him the water and my biscuit and people were laughing and cheering. And I took him in a blanket and said, let's get the hell out of here. She recalls as she carried the feeble little boy onto the bus and drove off. I was just thinking where to bury this boy. The fact that Little Hope, as Anja affectionately named him, is alive and very healthy today is an absolute miracle. And no one was more surprised than Anja herself. In the car, that's when I now decided to call him Hope, she said. Because the breathing was so heavy and you could see all his bones and I was just thinking where to bury this boy. I was so sure he was going to die witnessing the plight of a little boy abandoned on the streets. A compassionate woman halted her car to provide water and transport him to the nearest hospital. The child, diagnosed with gastric parasites and red blood cell deficiencies requiring blood transfusions, underwent extensive treatment. The woman, named Angie, shared a video of the encounter to raise awareness and funds for the child's medical needs. The story went viral, prompting millions in donations to the African Children's Aid Education and Development Foundation, ultimately leading to Angie's decision to adopt the boy, naming him Hope. Hope's recovery, documented over two months of treatment, showcased a remarkable transformation. Adopted into Angie's family-like orphanage, he thrived under her care, eventually attending school and leading a healthy life. Since 2016, Hope has been a part of the orphanage, established by Angie and her husband in southeastern Nigeria, offering a nurturing environment for children affected by superstitions. Hope's story is one of resilience and triumph, demonstrating the positive impact of collective efforts. In 2022, he reunited with his father, and later in September 2023, he met his mother, Despite challenging circumstances, Hope forgave his mother, portraying her as innocent in his narrative. Today, he remains an integral part of the orphanage, referring to Angie as his mother and actively supporting the welfare of others. The charitable foundation initiated by Angie continues to receive global support, with donations contributing to the construction of a new orphanage called the Land of Hope. While Hope's smile symbolises resilience and optimism, 
It is a reminder that numerous children still endure similar hardships. Angie emphasizes that the ultimate reward for her efforts is witnessing the smiles on these children's faces, emphasizing the importance of collective action in creating positive change. Hope's journey serves as an inspiration, illustrating that remarkable transformations are possible when people unite to pursue common goals. It is crucial not to forget that, despite Hope's fortunate ending, many children still face challenging circumstances. What do you think of this story? And that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, subscribe to my channel and tick the bell icon so you get notified as I upload a new video every week. See you in the next video. Bye.